Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are continuing the topic which we have started in the previous video. Okay, so we are studying, we are learning positive school of criminology or we can say positive theory of criminology. So as I said that three people were important in this uh, positive school, Cesar Lambroso, Raffaello Garofalo and Enrico Felice. These are three Italian criminologists who were uh, there in this positive school of criminology along with the other uh, criminologists. But these three are really very important. Okay, so we are done with Cesar Lambroso and his theory. And today we are going to see Enrico Ferri's theory. Okay, so Enrico Ferri's theory, so he, he challenged Enrico Ferri, the timeline is 1856 to 1928 for Enrico Ferri. He is from uh, Italy. And he challenged, so your uh, Enrico Ferri was the, uh, again, the other uh, important person in positive school of criminology. And he challenged Lambrosian, Lambrosian view. Okay, the view, the theory which have given by Lambroso. So he challenged that theory and he said that only biological reasons are not enough to account for criminality. Okay, so what he said, not like only biological features are not enough to um, to account on criminality right so we can write that he challenged he challenged okay other main exponent okay of positive school positive school okay so he challenged he challenged lambrosian view lambrosian okay lambrosian view view of Lambrosian view of criminology okay so he challenged he said that he said only biological only biological only biological features are not enough are not enough to account on that person account on criminality let's say account on criminality okay criminality so he said that he believed that other factors such as emotional reaction, social infirmity and geographical condition also play a vital role in determining criminal tendencies in the men. So what he said, he said, he said, he said not only the biological features, he said that other factors, other factors, other factors are important okay important role important it they play really very important role and vital role in in determining determining criminal tendencies Okay, criminal tendencies in men. Okay, criminal tendencies in men. So he said that there, like, not only biological, biological conditions or biological features or factors are responsible, but environmental conditions. What are the important factors? So he said social in environmental conditions.
environmental conditions okay after that social structure or social infirmity social infirmity or geographical condition geographical geographical condition are really very important okay so these are important factors so the major contribution of ferry in the field of criminology is the law of criminal saturation so he gave the law law of criminal law of criminal saturation okay law of criminal saturation so what is law of criminal saturation so law of criminal saturation is really very important factor so he said that it plays like physical and geographical in in law of criminal saturation we have sub uh, headings which is physical and geographical anthropological and psychological or social okay everything will contribute to criminal saturation first thing is physical and geographical condition physical and geographical condition okay next is anthropological conditions okay and next is physiological or social and social conditions physiological and social conditions so he emphasized that the criminal behavior is outcome of variety of factors having their combined effect on the individual according to him according to him social changes which is inevitable in dynamic society result in disharmony conflict and cultural variation in same happens with anthropological so he has some inferiority complex and all that which can motivate that person to involve into some criminal activity then physiological or social it means sorry psychological uh, sorry so, uh, sociological i have written the wrong thing here i will recorrect it it is psychological okay psychological so psychological uh, arrangement and makeup is again really very important to uh, to a person which 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 that person if that person is involved in any type of criminal activity so he gave classification of criminals and this is five folded so he gave five folded types of criminal okay so what are those type of criminals type of criminals type of criminals by ferry enrico ferry so he gave five different type of criminals so first is your born criminals born criminals next is your occasional criminals occasional criminals okay after that you have passionate criminals passionate criminals okay passionate criminals insane criminals insane criminals and habitual criminals okay 
okay so these are few types of criminals so born criminals are really very really obvious they are criminal by birth occasional criminals are those criminals because of some circumstantial situation or because of circumstances sometimes they uh, they are involved or they get involved in criminal acts passionate criminals are those criminals who are passionate for their crimes like serial killers and psychopaths insane criminals are those criminals who do not understand the type of act they are involved in habitual criminals are uh, like little related with passionate criminals because they have a habit like habit of uh, like they have a kind of habit to get involved in criminal activities so these are five classification of criminals by enrico ferri and we had three classes and three types of criminals by uh, cesar lambroso that was the activist that is hereditary criminal insane criminal and criminaloid so that is the classification given by the cesar lambroso i think the type of criminals is not visible i'll write it with other pen wait to make it visible okay types of of criminals by ferry okay so these are five types of criminals and classification is given by ferry then one more important scientist or criminologist let us rafael garofalo okay so we will cover his point of view or his theory in the next video fine so i think it's really very criminal uh, it's i think it's really very clear now so he said that other factors again play a really very important role he uh, said that cesar lambroso's theory is not correct not only biological factors but environmental factors environmental conditions social infirmity and geographical condition plays a really very important role in that in that person's criminality and he gave a uh, law of criminal saturation which includes physical geographical condition anthropological condition physio uh, psychological and social conditions apart from that he gave five class of uh, criminal criminals which is born criminals occasional criminals passionate criminals insane criminals and habitual criminals okay so this this is about the uh, so, uh, sociologist criminologist enrico ferri timeline is 1856 to 1928 okay so we will cover the vision and theory of rafael garofalo in the next video right so have a great great day ahead don't forget us to follow on instagram don't forget to be a part of our telegram channel and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel so that you can get all the lectures here in one channel okay if you have if you want to request any topic so you can request by commenting in the comment box we will cover that topic for sure thank you so much for watching this video have a great day